I'm going to show you how to print your notes without killing your paper or ink supply and so that you'll have space in your notebook. So you're going to start with the email that I sent you and this one says I'm giving you chapter one, the first number is always the chapter, and then six is the section and then with GP means with guided practice which is probably where how I will always send it. You want to open up that email and then you want to open up the PDF and if you're going to print these you won't need to really save them so we're just going to open up with Adobe Reader then you're going to go to the file print I don't know if this will work if you just hit this let me see yeah it'll work that way too so you can just hit that icon normally it'll come up with size now if you were to print it this way you would see it just the way that I do it on the overhead or on the TV and that's very large. Students, you don't need this. Parents, your students don't need this. So you want to go to the tab that says multiple. And you're going to want to print multiple pages. Now, some of your students would be happy to have the smaller pages fitting four of my pages on a sheet. That's not too small to read for students. And if you do that, you want to come down here and choose the landscape direction because that way it will take up as much space on each page as it can. Now this is going to print two sheets. This last sheet right here is pretty important because they're going to be taking notes on how to do this and they'll need it for their homework. Um, so this will print on two sheets and it'll look like this. Okay now you want to save on color ink so you want to go up to properties and you want to choose the color tab and you want to choose grayscale and that will print everything in black and white even if my entire document is black and white if it has any pictures that I have brought in from another source like for instance let me cancel all this for a minute like for instance these figures on this page this one's blue sometimes you can see where it's been pasted on there if it's a, if it's a photo that I took or a scan that I took of the book it sees those even though they're black and white it says their color and so what it will do is it will mix the colors to make black and that uses a lot of colored ink so you're going to want to choose grayscale even if it looks like the entire documents in black and white um, and if there are colors in there reds and oranges and purples or whatever it will print those in different shades of gray so students will still be able to read okay so let's just do that one more time you're going to use the print option you can use file print or you can use the icon go to multiple now there's another way that you might want to print this if your students would like it to be a little bit bigger than that and that is one by two And when you do this you're going to want to choose the portrait orientation because that puts one above the other this means I want one picture and two rows and then you want to go to properties again and you're going to have to choose this grayscale regularly or you're just going to print it in color it defaults to print in color okay and then if you press OK that's going to print out two of my sheets per page and you can look at what each page is going to look like whoops okay now another thing you might want to do is um, some of the guided practice you can kind of look through and see which ones are going to be something you would take notes on and which things are just things we're going to say out in class so you may decide that you don't want to print all the pages so you can go up to print certain pages and you can skip the guided practice pages so you can say I want to print one two four and five and when you do that then you're going to get this will just be two pages long because there are four sheets being printed, two on a page, and we've skipped a page of notes. Okay, I hope this will help you to manage the amount of colored ink uh, you're using and the amount of sheets of paper, and also students won't, don't want that stuff so big all up in their face either. If your computer does not work this way, I'd be happy to look at it with you. If it's a laptop, that you could bring it to Keys, and I'll, and I'll look at it with you or with your child so that they can get good at doing this. Alright, 